I'm going to trace out this Celtic Crow Bodrum Irish Raven. I'll be using a full size diagram. First thing in the Logic Trace software is to select the four points. Here we're going to be defining the four corners of the diagram. The next item is to select the circle command, the three point circle. The program echoes back the diameter and that gives you a chance to correct that or keep it. You can see here it's just a matter of touching three spots on the circle. Next I selected the arc command. Then I went on to the trace command. This will give us the full perimeter of the inside of the circle. Also, I save my work frequently. I'll be using the trace selection for quite a bit of this diagram as it's quite integrated. But around the round part there, I'll use the curve fit. Again, I'll be using that circle command for the eye, and you'll see where the program verifies the diameter. And I save my work frequently. Just a few tidbits here while I'm doing the tracing. When the program saves your work, it saves two copies. One copy that you've saved, and the other copy the program saves, and that's a TLG format. The beauty of that format is that if you want to take a break or pick up the tracing the next day, you can load that file and just continue right on. So you can see why it might be a good idea to save your work frequently. This is what I do, because that way I can just reload the copy that I had previous to where I made the mistake. Also note that there are options and setup buttons to configure the program to suit your needs. So for instance, I've set up the line width at 0.5 and I've set it up as black. I like my lines to look like a black thread. I find Logitrace Trace easy to use and it's fast. It's got the ability to be saved in different formats like DXF, which is what I use, PolyDXF, SVG, or PDF formats. One unique feature is the ability of the program to extend the control window to another device, like a cell phone or an iPad. This would enable you to make your selections right close to where you're tracing. Also, I forgot to mention earlier, you'll see those red marks on the diagram. That's how I keep track of what's been traced. Also keeps track of where I've started because I don't want a crossed vector. It's a fairly detailed diagram, but it's doable. You just take your time, carry on, trace out each part, and save your work frequently. This Celtic Crow Bodrum Irish Raven was kind of special to me because when I was on vacation in 2019, I visited the shop where the guy made these drums in Ireland. It was very it was fantastic to see what he was doing. The drum was constructed all manually. His name was Malachi and he gave me this stamp and signed the back and told me to keep it as a keepsake.
So when I picked this project, it brought back some memories. Again, you can see where I'm using the circle command for those small circles. It's far quicker to use the circle command for any circles because you're only touching three spots. And then the computer echoes back the diameter so you can check it to make sure it's okay. Pretty well finished all the tracing, so I'm going to load this file into Vectric Aspire 11.5, check the vector quality, and there is some node editing required. I never noticed till the end that there was a line, a streak, right across the front part of the crow all the way down to the side, so I'll just remove that using the node editor. I then check the vector quality and make sure everything is okay. Lastly, I like to run that file through the Aspire simulator just to see how it's going to look. The file is then run through Corel Draw. That's where the cut contour and the coloring is set up. Then the file is saved in an EPS format and that's loaded into the printer software. That's VersaWorks. The purpose of the Corel Draw is to color the diagram and set up the cut contour, and that is that when the image is printed, the printer will cut the 